Hello, my fellow humans, and welcome back to another Daily Dice, where we ask for the message from Archangel Michael and find out what that is. Uh, I do want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this journey, this channel, this ever-growing tribe. I'm truly honored to be sharing this time and this space with you. And for those of you new here, welcome. This is that reminder that we're all here sharing this human experience together and that this is a safe space to show up as your highest, most aligned, loving, authentic self. And should these messages happen to resonate with you, it means so much to me if you're to like, comment, and subscribe below. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and jump to it and find out what messages Archangel Michael has for you today. So... Archangel Michael, what messages do you have for my fellow human today? What would you like them to know? What messages do you have today for my fellow human? What would you like them to know? Okay, so we've got South Node, we've got the Third House, and we've got Leo Energy. Okay, there's someone here. Woo, come back, South Node. There's someone here that you're meant to let go of. Now, this is reminiscent of a past person right this could be someone that's new in your life that's interested in dating you and they remind you of someone from the past or they're going to begin to remind you of someone from the past but it does look like this is someone you're meant to let go of okay and archangel michael is trying to show you that this is someone who is very much like a situation that continued as a cycle in your life from childhood this is something that was very difficult for you this is something that was very hurtful for you this is something that you have healed from and you have moved on from and you've gained clarity from this situation a lot of strength but there is that ultimate test that we have to go through where we say we're enough is enough right and that's why we get those mirroring uh cycles back into our life where it's like okay i know i'm done with this i know i've let this go but why is this coming back into my life and it's to continue to cement that into your reality now you are on a higher vibration you're on a much higher level than what you were and it's like just like a self-fulfilling prophecy for the emotional ego where it continues to bring in situations and you continue to allow yourself to go into those situations that are like, I'm not enough, or I'm not worthy, or I'm not deserving, right? And so our emotional ego is that self-fulfilling prophecy, while our spirit does that for us as well. And so Archangel Michael is showing you that this is part of that higher spiritual love coming through, reminding you that you have the capacity to say no, you have the strength to walk away from the drama that you have the courage to set very solid boundaries and situations where before you would have just let people you know do whatever they did or you would have let your people pleasing tendencies take over or let your fear of speaking up for yourself <coughs> wow excuse me come through yeah it's like this has to touch with the throat chakra it's not really because if you've been here for any amount of time you know the third house is sometimes like into the twin flame journey journey three 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 across the clock right now but this is not about the twin flame journey this is literally about past situations that are repeating in order for you to really clear the south node energy this is going to help you glow up and move directly into that north node alignment with the journey of ahead and you're saying to yourself enough is enough i'm being honest with myself i'm being truthful for myself i don't like this situation i don't like the way it makes me feel and it's okay it's okay for me to say that it's okay for me to articulate that to verbalize that it is okay for me to tell others that I'm uncomfortable and it is okay to say enough is enough and that I can walk away from that and that's what Archangel Michael wants to say here and I cannot make this up I picked up the deck and this is how these two fell out we have the ace of Michael which is the ace of sword and we have 15 with decision and Archangel Jophiel which is the devil card in the original tarot right and in the Tarot Marseille, which is what I read. And so you have this. This is the Ace of Swords, this clarity, this confirmation that there is someone here who is not who they say they are. Their intentions are not pure. Their intentions are not true. This is someone who's trying to pull the wool over your eyes to gain something from you. 
Okay, now let's see if we can get some more on it. Let me give a couple shuffles here. Yeah, strength coming out. Look, you do have the strength to get over this. You have the strength to move beyond this. This is not a part of your life anymore. It's not confirming that this is all that's good for you in your life. This is a test, in other words, for you to say enough is enough. And it's ultimately going to be up to you, right? Because the triggers are different for everyone. But you can choose to say enough is enough and you can choose to walk away. And the more that you choose to walk away from situations like this, the more you cement that into your spiritual journey that I no longer resonate with these lower vibrations. We have the page of Ariel coming out with reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. This is an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. So this is pointing that this is a gift from source. This is a gift from Archangel Michael. This is a gift from your higher self the opportunity to show just how balanced you've become, how grounded you've become, how capable you are at navigating your own journey. And then we have justice with Archangel Rag Ragael. Ragiel? Ragiel. Okay. And we have fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. Exactly. Like, I cannot make up this energy. It's very real what's coming from the dice here. It's very palpable and I can feel it through my bones. Like, there's someone here who's really trying to be someone that they're not just for the sake of worming their way into your life. And Archangel Michael is here saying, I am confirming how your intuition is telling you and how you're feeling like you keep questioning it you keep wondering and it's just very slight right it's just like well maybe I'm just worried about you know getting betrayed again or this that and the other and your intuition is on point here and it feels like this the voice of your intuition is very small right now and that's why you're saying maybe this is not really my intuition it's because this part of yourself has been really running rampant for a long time and that's okay, right? That's okay. Archangel Michael is here to help. We have the King of Raphael, warm, generous, honorable, and refined. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once and follow your creative passions. And they're saying it is okay for you to trust your intuition right now. Okay, you're this beautiful light, this beautiful person who's going to attract people who have maybe not the best of intentions, right? And as much as we wish we could say that that would never happen just because you're so pure, you're never going to get people who have mal, mal intent towards you. It's just not going to happen because not everybody in the world is ready to glow up and become their best selves, right? And so with that in mind, you just have to know that sometimes you're going to have to continue to set solid boundaries and not in a cruel way unjustified way but in a way that's showing that it's okay for me to protect myself right so we have number 44 strength stability and structure you will manifest what you need express gratitude as your plans have already come to pass trust that your angels are bringing you the message that you need right and this is directly from archangel michael to you okay <laughs> i love this one and then we have have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. And again, that feels like that's confirming that right now your intuitive voice, while it's normally loud and proud and able to show you the way, right? I know it sounds so counter counterintuitive, but it's just really you've learned to listen to it. But there's something about this that it feels very small. And it's because this is one of those tests that can only come from the situation at hand which doesn't happen every day right especially if it's someone who's coming in to date you you know you're not getting date offers every day and if you are you're not getting date offers from certain people like this energy every day so this is just that like final test or saying like are you really done with this energy are you really over this energy we can move forward from this and on the bottom we have Put your creative energy into action. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity, help you to communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful. So right now, the importance of your journey lies in drawing back into self and doing what feels right for you creatively so that you're not 
so I'm hearing bullied, bombarded, and overrun by the type of energy that this person's bringing into your life. It's just very important for you to focus on what you're creating for yourself. Okay, we have Afrael and Beletza with 23. A fresh wind is blowing into your life. Believe in your divine guidance and recognize all the gifts along your path. Okay, so a purifying this, this is like a very purifying energy that Archangel Michael is trying to bring into your life, trying to balance you out, bring you into alignment with the North Node energy. The South Node is letting this go. Is this the North Node? Why do I feel like I've been talking about the South Node this whole time and this is actually the North Node? Yeah, it is the North Node, but the, the message is the same. Okay, the message is the same. Like, it's interesting because I kept seeing the South Node. <laughs> and so hang with me, right? Hey, I'm allowed to make mistakes too. I'm a human. But that's the energy here. It's showing that you're really coming into North Node energy. They want you to leave behind what's no longer serving you. 11, 11 on the clock. Isn't it interesting? They wouldn't let me see that until the end of the reading. We have Zad Kael and Grat Salu on the bottom with 26. The time for being passive and accepting begins now. Let go of all desires. Be patient and prepared. The right moment will come and everything has its time. Yeah, so there's no need to force yourself into a situation for love, for connection or anything like that the time will come wow my nose is going crazy right now like you know the right thing to do that's what they're saying here okay you know the right thing to do you've healed so much and you've come so far and i know it feels disheartening to say well but if this isn't the person then who's it gonna be that's the thing it's like you're letting go you're shutting the door on the past of whatever that was right Toxic relationships, codependent relationships, betrayals, mistrust, cheaters, whatever it was. You're, you're literally closing the door on that. Okay. So we're helping your soul to come into this place of cementing in the belief that you are worthy and you are deserving of exactly what you're asking for. Okay, so this is what I see here for you. If this was your message, leave a little rainbow emoji down below and say, I trust the alignment of my journey and that Archangel Michael will always have my back, bringing me closer to what is rightfully mine on this journey, right? And if you feel up to it, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. Make sure you do subscribe and you can always comment below. It does help out the channel and it helps out me. And I love hearing from your stories. I feel so blessed when you guys share with me. And if you're interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all those links in the description box in order to do so. You can email me for personal reading. You can follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify at Scatter Love Radio. You can even join as a member and I would love to see you on memberships. But if not, thank you for your continued support here. I am going to go ahead and leave this here, but I do want to take a quick second to give a shout out to Archangel Michael. I want to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source and my spirit guides for coming together to give us this message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.